How did Garrett Adelstein make his money? His sources of income revealed coming up. Some people found out about Garrett from the Survivor TV show, but most people know him from the streamed high-stakes poker games he often participates in and pretty much everyone else wonders, what does he do for work? What does Garrett Adelstein do for a living? Where and how does G-Man make his money? Is he getting staked? And that's exactly what we're going to cover today. How did Garrett Adelstein make his money? It was not thanks to CBS's Survivor TV show, poker brand sponsorships, or crypto investments. Garrett Adelstein is a professional poker player and he makes a lot of money from the high stakes poker games where he buys in for at least $100,000. His other sources of wealth likely come from owning real estate properties both here in the US and internationally, stock investments, and other business ventures. A quick disclaimer, this is a question that no one can answer with 100% certainty except for Garrett himself. But here we'll discuss several certain and possible sources of income. Let's get started. High Stakes Poker Cash Games As a professional poker player, this means that he makes his money mainly from poker. That includes poker tournaments and cash games. While Garrett has played the tournaments, he only cashed four times. So how much money has he won? Here are his past tournament results according to Cardplayer.com. 2016 World Series of Poker $10,000 for $49,108 the 2010 World Series of Poker $10,000 for $48,847, the 2008 EPT PokerStars.net Caribbean Adventure for $48,000, and the 2011 World Series of Poker $15,000 for $25,919. Now don't let these results fool you though, G-Man is actually a silent killer on the felt. The thing is that Adelstein is mainly a cash game player and more specifically plays in very high stakes poker. Check out this video where he absolutely destroyed his opponents in one session alone. As you'll notice, the usual stakes he plays are $100, 200 and 400 which is a lot of action with all the wealthy people from all walks of life. For example, he often plays with a crypto whale Wesley Fay, the co-founders of Hustler Casino, Nick Vertucci and Andy Tsai, and the famous poker vlog blogger Mariano. Over his poker career, Adelstein has also played with famous high rollers like Phil Ivey, Tom Dwan, and Bill Klein, Doyle Brunson, Patrick Antonius, Phil Galfand, and others. Without a doubt, Garrett's main source of income seems to come from these high-stakes poker games. If you watch the streams, G-Man usually buys in for at least twice more than the stack of his opponents. His minimum amount are $100,000 US dollars and he will always top up if needed. This alone means that his net worth must be in the millions of dollars. Now, all aspiring poker players know that you must have the bankroll for at least 30 to 50x of your stakes level. One of the questions people often wonder is, does he get staked? I mean, it is a lot of money that he buys in for for those live stream games. So let's discuss this point. Does Garrett Adelstein get staked? Sponsorships. First, let's talk about what it does to mean to get staked, sell action in poker, being the backer of the horse. In a nutshell, the backer is the one who invests in a player, gives cash, and hopes that the said player will win. In the event they do, the winnings are split between the backer, the investor, and the horse, the player. Generally, the goal of getting staked in cash games should always be to build up a poker bankroll so that eventually you can play on your own without backup. However, getting staked is more common in tournaments than cash games because attorney results can easily be reviewed via the right sources and news outlets. While it's common for poker players to sell action or have sponsorships, when it comes to Garrett, he shared in Joey GTO Poppy Ingram and Doug Polk podcasts that he always had 100% of himself. According to him, he's never owned a dime to anybody, which is admirable, and it seems to be so because nobody ever came out to say otherwise or tainted his reputation. It makes sense why Adelstein does not get staked. There's no point for him to do that since he's properly bankrolled for his high-stakes poker sessions. It is like withdrawing cash from the ATM machine with a credit card when you already have plenty on your debit card. The same goes for sponsorships too. He's not with PokerStars, GG Poker, Poker Bros, or any other poker app, a brand, or company. He just doesn't need it. Truth is, G-Man doesn't actually have to play poker for a living anymore. He has a very high net worth and multiple sources of income, and therefore, he can afford having 100% of himself. Now, what are the other possible income streams? Let's discuss those next. Real estate properties and business ventures. We already established that Garrett can afford having 100% of himself. 
And the reason for that is not only because he's grown his bankroll in poker throughout his adult life, but also because he has other significant income streams. The main obvious one would be real estate properties. His wife is a successful realtor in California, and it only makes sense that they themselves buy properties and rent them out for passive income or to sell for a profit. Many people know that investing in real estate is a lucrative business, especially if you have the capital for it. Then you just rinse and repeat and grow your net worth even more. G-Man has graduated summa cum laude from the University of Arizona with a dual degree in marketing and entrepreneurship, so my guess is he also has other business projects and investments. A smart man like Adelstein likely is financially literate and would totally diversify his portfolio to protect himself and his family on all sides. The diversification can also include doing private lending deals and stock investments like ETFs, mutual funds, bonds, REITs, and other investments like that. Speaking of, what about cryptocurrency? Does Garrett invest in any cryptocurrency? Has Garrett actually invested in crypto? While there was a boom with cryptocurrency in the last few years and a lot of poker players promoting their crypto companies and investments, G-Man hasn't actually explicitly mentioned any crypto investments. As most successful people, he likely has some money invested in this area, but he didn't openly promote it in your company whatsoever and likely didn't put all his eggs in a cryptocurrency basket. Which might be a good move because you never know what might happen and how volatile things can get. Let's take an example of Doug Polk, who was an ambassador for CoinFlex and had to step down because of the issue with the company not paying out their investors. Because of that, Doug received a lot of backlash because a lot of poker players lost money following his recommendations. A quick word of advice, everyone makes mistakes and can be misled, so always do your own due diligence. Your financial freedom is your responsibility and no one else's. Family Capital and Trust Fund Many say that Garrett Adelstein came from a wealthy family. Even his surname is one of the elite ones in Los Angeles, so it's very possible that he had a trust fund capital that he could fall back on or use for his investments and poker career. This then explains why he said he's never been staked and he's never owed anyone any money. Good stuff and good for him. Did he get paid on Survivor? Some people assume that you would get paid to be on reality shows regardless of whether you win or lose the contest. While there is some truth to that, it only depends on a number of factors. For example, getting paid if you come back for the final episode even if you've been voted out. But even then, the amount is not particularly huge according to some sources. It's about $10,000 per person just for their present. The most amount of money the contestants would make if they actually won in the show, Garrett himself was voted out second in the season 28 of Survivor TV show. In conclusion, he might have made some cash here and there, but compared to his net worth, it was just likely chump change. I hope I've answered your question on how does Garrett Adelstein make money? Like I mentioned earlier, no one really knows his exact net worth or all of his income streams, but we can logically come to certain conclusions. As we've established here, he does make a living mainly from his high-stakes poker winnings, where he owns 100% of himself, real estate property, and stock investments. It's very possible that he's had help with a family trust fund and likely has invested some of his income in crypto. Have we missed anything else? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below.